All right, what we have here is a Kilduff lightning rod shifter. And I'm going to show you how it works. It's kind of really cool. I'm sure you've seen other videos if you're looking into these. Um, yeah. This here is the top plate, obviously. Just unscrew the four screws. Unscrew the ball. This is, and this comes right, right up. Nice chrome plated. Looks like it's laser cut. A really nice piece of metal here. You see the reflections in it? Now under that is this X brace here. What this is doing is holding the arms to these secure. So when we take it off, it's not going to work right, obviously, because this is off. But I'm just showing you what it's doing. You can take this off. It's just, yeah, being held on by the same way. Obviously you print, this is part, reverse, neutral, it doesn't move these yet. See all the grease down in there and the heavy duty bolts and nuts in there? So remember the brace is holding these down. So then you go, right. Now just go from first to second, see there. The arm underneath it is just pulling this plate forward. This arm is pulling the plate forward. And that arm, can you see underneath the arms? I'll turn it over in a second. So everything's just moving that big plate. That's what I like about this. Real simple, functioning thing. Can you see the arms? Arch thou seeing them now, Mr. Krabs? You see that in there? Can you scan it? Yeah. Can you see? Now again, this this brace holds these arms secure. Show it upside down for a second. Being careful not to scratch anything. Let me just show you kind of the beefiness of it. Big old bolts down here. See, these are the bottom arms that push up on that big plate. That's, that's the beauty of it, the simplicity of it. And of course you got over here the, the Prindle shaft is held on by a clip, both sides. But no, there's not a clip over here. And the shaft of these things are just being held on by a uh, nut and bolt, I guess, I don't know. Uh, like I said, powder coated. Uh, I like to take things apart and see how they work. Oh yeah, I put the, I put the Moon Eyes ball on there. I've had it for a long time. And, um, yeah, so let's just put it back together. Got it on backwards. Got it on backwards. Got it on backwards. Yeah. Still got it on crooked. Okay, so I'm going to... See, and this is holding those arms down, so, you know, so, yeah. And, uh, and you just put the plate back on. There you go. And well, just, then obviously just screw this back on and... So that is how your average, everyday, ordinary, killed up lightning rod shifter works. And the, uh, by the way, the holes in the arms were an option. I opted for these. And the, uh, see what that? Oh, a cable, I got a shifter cable. 
can. It runs off a of regular. Um, what is that? Kind of the uh, K and M shifter cable. Yeah, just a regular K and M uh, shifter. K and M doesn't sound right for some reason right now. So yeah, it's got a neutral safety switch built in. You probably saw that. And yeah, that comes with it. I, I believe that's standard. You can opt for different things, but I didn't want to spend much more money. I, I, I'll be honest, I'll spent, I spent 350 bucks on it. About 350 bucks with the cable and the holes. Well, only two things I opted for. So for 350 bucks, pretty beefy. And to me, the cool factor outweighs a lot of things in a lot of cars. So anyway, there you go. Killed off lightning on shifter. Bye, guys.